Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make bump maps and paint them in Blender. So I'm going to switch over to the Blender internal render engine. It handles bump maps way better, at least while you're painting them. Um, I'm going to remove this cycles material and add a new one. Go into material view and add a light here. And if I go in and unwrap this cube really quick, just select these edges and... Control E, mark seam, A to select everything, U, unwrap, there we go. And I'll just jump into texture paint, add a paint slot, it's actually normal. Go ahead and click that. I'm going to times this by 2, just click uh, on your keyboard, multiply it by 2, and hover over it, Control C, Control V, there we go, quick little tips. You can use that in any input box in Blender. So now, look at that, we can paint this beautiful detail, which is completely free, no extra computations, because it is faked, basically. And so, go ahead and use bump maps wherever you need. If you absolutely have to use cycles to paint them, you can go over, switch over to that. Uh, remove this Blender mater internal material, add your own. Switch over to the node editor, you probably can't see it because of my face, um, but just switch to the node editor. And in the normal here, we're going to add a bump node. Oops, there we go. And just add into the height input of that, that texture we just painted. Image texture down here. Go ahead and select that one and put it into the height. Now you can see it does work. It's very faint. And from certain angles, it will look like the texture has been doubled, uh, which is pretty weird. Also, also in cycles, sometimes you have to switch in and out of texture paint mode before it'll even work. Look. I had to paint on that side before I could paint this side. Cycles just handles it kind of weird. So overall, I would... There we go. You can see the doubling of the line there. I would recommend to use Blender internal to render it because it looks so much nicer and it just works instead of having to finick around with it. All right, so that's how you can paint bump maps. Really quick, easy tutorial, I know. But if it helped you, you can go ahead and leave a comment or leave a like. And if you're feeling especially nice, go ahead and subscribe. And with that, I will see you later.